Oh, all right, welcome back, everyone. This is cognition trick critical, and this is Shadow Drake, and we are fighting with our low cognition again. Okay, so. Let's go ahead and put these here. And we have that. Okay, so this time we're gonna tackle building working on the greenhouse a bit. So let's see what I, if I have everything that I need. Okay. You are the logic readers, you're the logic switches. you and your consoles I, s I need IC housing okay I'm gonna need wall kits glass sheets plastic sheets I don't think I'll need frames Gonna need some insulated pipes. Woo, I mean a lot. Okay. Don't need that many of you. I'm gonna need. Go ahead and print like two of you. I think it only prints one, right? I hope it only prints one. Okay. We'll need a large kit. I will need these stack of doors. I even have more in the back. Dang. Print out a lot. Okay. While those are printing, I'm going to go ahead and get started up there. Okay, so the big deal this time, and I do have a suit. Oxygen low. It's time to actually get started on the flipping greenhouse. So. <clears throat> Let me just yeet myself into the stratosphere. Uh, let's see. If I remember right, I wanted to have... Kind of... 5x5, five five, so... Like that. Now, the thing about this is, I wanted to have... Five like that, and then I wanted to have some space. Well, let's see. Two, three, four, five, four. Okay, so it's not gonna work. One, two, three, four, five. One, two. Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Kind of like that. Yeah. Now do I want two space? How much is that? So, one kind of plan, two. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten types of plants like that. Because I do want to save this little area right here specifically for, uh, like, atmospheric types handling. So 
so if I do it like this, I should kind of square that away. Plastic sheets. Get back in here. I want this to be glass. I think I kind of want this to be two floored. The only reason I kind of want this to be two floors is in case I want to expand and add more to this, you know, more plants up top. With the exception of this part. I want the actual greenhouse itself to be to floor, but this part right here to not be. Okay. Now, completely forgot about this part. add these. Can I fit these? It's so weird how that just happens like that, but okay. That's then I can just literally put up halfway. Okay. Let's get more. Wait, I got walls. I thought I were right now. It really is kind of astonishing to me how I'm literally just now building a literal greenhouse, like right now. Okay. Alright. Might as well get the roof because the roof is going to be the easiest thing. It's not like I'm going to be up in the roof doing anything. Everything I need to work on is going to be downstairs.
Okay. So that squares away this area. I will need some walls with grow lights. You know, I might need some more. Okay. Let's go back downstairs, get some more stuff. I'm gonna need an IC housing. I'm gonna need more pipes. Always need more pipes. When do you never need pipes? Okay. You know what? I might actually have use for these iron walls. Probably gonna need to weld up quite a bit. Ah, are there more walls here? They should be. going to be really concerning if I don't have any more walls. I'm actually getting a little concerned that I don't have very many walls. Alright. What do we got here? Okay, good. Battery kits. Ah, uh, those are basic. That's runways. Lights. Gonna need more. Must have bought so much more lights. Okay, I need sensors. Don't need a console, don't need electronic parts, don't need interior doors. Uh, I can put the normal doors back. But I need more icy tents. Shoot. What are these doing here? There was something I should have done. Let's just do a medium radiator. Actually, I need my table kits. Where are they? Those are stairs. Those are lockers. Table kits. There we go. I need a transformer. This is the hard part, trying to figure out exactly what it is that I need. So I need a transformer. I see, a, I need a housing. I need to go smell more copper again. But let's go put what I got down. Some steel sheets for that. I mean, iron sheets. Oxygen low. So here's the thing. I know for a fact that I need to power this up. 
question is, I think it'd be best if I have the battery in here. gas sensor right here that handles that part that takes care of that okay Scare the sci fi tables. And where are my iron walls? This is wrong. Is it, uh, Andrew? Yeah. Because if I have these perfectly placed, it'll handle these two. I can handle these two. That'll do those. Alright, so now the thing is, I need to... Move some power over this way. It's a little problematic because I need to Why is this nickel here? Cable is a cable. Okay. Shoot. 
I probably I hope I didn't short out anything that way. Heavy cables, gotta get more copper. The only reason these are being normal water pipes is because I don't intend to You know, this is of course going to be climate controlled. This should not, at any point in time, be exposed to Europa atmosphere. But it's because of that that I'm going to be extremely careful not to put normal water in here. So the question then becomes... How far into this network should I make go? I want to put a water fountain here too. I want to have the ability to eat and drink in here. Let's get some heavy cables, let's get some stuff to make that. Because I'm going to need a lot of piping. I need build ink. Is this seriously another? doing what was this called again drinking fountain got worse. I don't think I'll be able to call him down in time, though. Okay, so the problem is I have...
to buy more wall kits because I think I'm going to need more. Oxygen low. A lot of that stuff right there. So the goal is to kind of get the inside kind of sealed off and stuff, and then I gotta start figuring out how to get the uh, yeah, I'm just not gonna be able to call them. That's fine. Okay. So, what do we got here? Need some heavy cables, too. Need to make some more... Might as well get that squared away because I'm going to need that soon. Awesome, awesome. Need copper, 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 copper. Those are wall kits. Build ink. I think I'm going to need more Electrum, to be honest. Yeah. Grow lights. Yeah, I'm going to need a lot more Electrum. Question is, do I have any in here? I don't think I do. Just want so calling them down. I need to call the other guys down too. Not gonna regret telling Essa. No, we won't need Electrum. More than likely that Electrum isn't here. Alright, now I can go stick that in there. 
I can work on that airlock. I'm not going to get it up 100% of the time. Just enough. set of sensor kits. I am full on in inventory. Okay, where's the other dude? Cosmic Clouds? No, it was Galactic Metallurgy, because I'm going to need more. to start getting some plants growing and being happy. Even if they're sealed off and we have to... Ugh. My auto-refill logic is kind of bugged again. Yep. Two kilowatts is enough for now. Okay. Just go ahead and place. Okay. I see housing here. controllers. I just need two. One for the airlock and one for the grow lights. Okay, so where am I at at this now? Part of the reason for this too is because I can have like an atmospheric control system. I want to put a medium radiator, and I don't think I have that on me. Oh, wait, I can get a drinking fountain. Where 
going to stick this thing. That won't be out of the way. Honestly, probably right there. going is actually probably going to warm up faster than I want it to. Let's just go ahead and buy a full set of these and send them on. Uh, pretty sure I made some power controllers, right? There should be some. There they are. make some insulated liquid pipes. Almost out of silicon. Let's create three stacks for now. out of stuff. How much steel do you have? I could probably use some more steel. Yeah. Let's get some stuff wired up, use up some of this inventory space I got, then go trade, because I do have to make more silicon. Let's 
So that, and I think I want to put... I know I need you for controlling the grow light timers. I will need one for that. Door and door. Out vent and door vent. Okay. This is not going to work properly unless it's properly weld it up and stuff, so let's go on ahead and completely close it off. Would help if I actually wire it to power, you know? This is only going to be temporary. Once this is fully welded up and everything like that, I'm going to get rid of it. But, let's see, I'm going to need... Honestly, I need to... Because I want to have, I want to have one more, uh, let's see, grow light. How much power does that use, kit grow light? 70 watts. Not a lot. Still some. going to do
Okay, so that takes care of that. Now I need to get the water in here. I need to get two more controllers. I need to cable up all of this. Uh, I need to get the grow lights. It's a lot to take in. Okay, I actually need to smell silicone. Is that some of that steel get in here? Didn't seem like it. sell the iron and the silicon and I can buy the steel so that I can put that in the uh, printer. Tell you to go home. Yes. Okay, so let's see, let's get some frames back in here. I said get them back in here. I don't need you guys back in there. I need both your power controllers. I think I need gas pipes for a while. I think this will be good for now. I don't think I need an extra radiator. Okay. I'm gonna tell them to start printing that, because the sad thing is it's just gonna need more.
caution. This is where things get really squirrely. This is why I also opted not to finish building this just yet, because I needed to get this. Brought down. one okay I have to fix that We'll need more grow lights eventually. They turning on. Is it because I forgot to turn this on? Yep. There we go. Okay. So with this, I do have a code for my grow lights. And I needed to go on ahead and start getting to start working. Is it this one? So I don't need my mid angle. I don't need those three. that one. I just need a day sensor. DB setting and single. 
That's all I need. Hydration critical. Let's go drink some water. I do need to make some more copper and gold. So I might as well make a little bit more copper and gold. I can't believe how much has been used up. Actually, I actually think I need to expand the power bank array. I actually, seriously, I'm having a hard time believing how much is getting used up. It's also possible I did short out the system too. Alright, that takes care of my water needs. Corporate 
emotions. Okay, this a hundred copper. Oh, stop complaining. We need a copper. You should be needing copper soon, yep. You should be good on copper. Yep, you're good on copper for now. Alright. So let's see, where are we at? I need to finish up some things. I need to get the water piped. So the genetic analyzer, the genetic stabilizer. Might as well go on ahead and attach those. Analyzer, stabilizer, and the splicer. I think I'm going to get a dock as well. I don't know that I need to take this many walls. battery. And a plant cartridge analyzer. Okay. That should be everything. Really should be everything. All right. OK. 
Okay. Stabilizer and a splicer. That's so weird that it's like that, and then I can put you right there. Haha! <laughs> Perfect. This is actually where things are going to get weird. Put a whole lot of capacity in there and it's gonna get absolutely plastered. But the good news is that It's charging a little bit. I am going to go on ahead and connect some. I'm almost out of time. honest this at least gets the greenhouse almost completely set up almost being the operative word that I do need to bring in a temperature control which I think is just gonna be co2 to be honest
Ooh, that's getting a little toasty. But I kind of knew that was going to happen. through helmet is disabled. It's got water, it's got all that stuff. Biggest thing I need to do is... I do need to get that close to the CO2. So hot water is getting pushed in here, which is why this is being very turved. Which is really honestly why I don't mind some of it be cooled. of that it's throwing one kilojoule in here and some of it is going out all right so i need to get a that liquid radiator again and i need to go ahead and connect it because it's just going to be throwing a lot of heat over here Still, so much thermal energy being. It's kind of insane.
Perfect. That I need to fix, though. to form I need to have a vent that pu pulls the air into the waste tank and I need to have a vent that pulls some that pushes some CO2 in here the question that I don't know though is do I want to Build a full stack of those. I think I'm gonna go ahead and go and warm up that room. I can always just remove one of these. Let's just be honest, this is just going to convect heat in here like mad. And with these grow lights here, it's also going to do the same thing. This should eventually warm this place up. And the reason I want the power vents is because I do need to... I need to have vents. I think what I want to do is put two vents. A vent down here for... A vent over here for CO2, and a vent up here for waste. That way I can have a waste vent pull excess oxygen out of here. There leaks somewhere. Literally condensing a crap ton of water.
the source for me for now, though. That's going to slowly warm up the room while cooling out the water, which is kind of what I desperately need right now because uh, this water's hot. Because I think what's happening is, yeah, I'm pushing a lot of this water in here. 15%. Let's see. Tie uh, divided by a thousand twenty. That actually is a thousand twenty divided by eighty four eighty. Yeah, I'm at twelve percent. That means I'm still trying to push water in here. That means I'm literally burning through my water over here. Oh boy. Some really cool pollutants. So not only did I absolutely freeze up my water or heat up my water a little bit too much but I made the mistake of forgetting to turn that off so now I have 40 degree water that's gonna have to slowly cool down very very slowly I have to invest in a large extendable radiator and see how well that does. But that will be for another day. It's gonna get a little toasty in here for the for the moment. Cause this is convecting quite a lot of thermal energy. But hopefully it should be sharing it soon. Actually not sure how good a large extendable radiator would be. Radiator. Large extendable radiator. It's only for liquids, I know that. Curious to see what it takes. pretty big. Oh. Maybe I could just build this and use it to cool down the water. Large extendable. <laughs> it's wrecked. Five stellite glass sheets. Okay. Got all of that. Okay. So with that, I actually finally got the greenhouse pretty much ready. Oh. Quite a lot done. Greenhouse is ready. All so that we can give Essa her own chickens. The base is getting a little toasty. That was bound to happen, to be honest. And to be fair, there's a lot of CO2 here. Three and a half percent CO2. But yeah, uh, 
I'll eventually do something about mixing this air with up there. Maybe that's what I should do. Kind of have like a... Uh, Maybe that's what I should do. Kind of have like a link system. Passive vent here goes straight up there. To another passive vent. If I do something on the middle right here, that should be good. Because then... It should be safe. Safer. Because, I mean, that's my greenhouse. If I... You know, the thing is, I could also just put wall floors. Get it in there. Pass a vent here. Pass a vent up there. And that'll link this together with that. Because, to be honest, might as well link them together. Or maybe I should have a valve. A valve up there. So that if I want to link, I link. Yeah. We'll do something like that. Next time, I'm going to figure out how to get our CO2 up there so that we can actually start growing plants, because these mushrooms are still generating CO2. Oh, thanks again. I'm going to keep going. My base is toasty. I'm getting toasty. But it will be fixed. Uh, see you next time, and have a good night and a good day.